Alright, I was only here to pick up the crops, but it looks like Gaia has some dialogue. Gaia? It... it's nothing. Nothing? You're shaking. What happened here? You did well, Gaia. You know I have no choice. You're acting aloof again. You know I hate it when you do that. Was, is that her ex? My apologies, Master. I'm sure my, I sure hope my distress or the pain you're causing your wife doesn't inconvenience you. Listen to me, you bat-winged bitch. I am the one who summoned you. The one who is providing you with energy. Without me, you'd vanish back into the void you came from. I definitely prefer the abyss right now. If it weren't for you being so exotic, I wouldn't even bother keeping you around. You stink of blood, by the way. Who is this, Marion or some other guy? At least I know you followed my orders. Wash up and help Landra prepare dinner. You're getting on my nerves. Succubus. Yes, master. Level 2 succubus. Knife. Wait a minute. That's not your main weapon. Maid frill and maid gown. Hmm, at least she still has all her abilities for some reason. Really did not expect this. A dresser with my master and his wife's clothes. She deserves so much better. Master's bed. Landra knows what he makes me do here. I wish she stood up to him. Landra loves these kinds of stories. Sadly, the happiness within only distracts from this world's corruption. Master's bed. Landra knows what he makes me do here. Alright, that's all I can... I have to clean that up later. Right now, I feel like I'll just throw up again. Landry used to sit here quite often. She seems so calm and happy. At least the bath gives some relief. Warlocks are terrible. Summoning demons and making them submit to their every whim. Then, then again, his enemies are no better. At least it's easy to kill someone who is only thinking about fucking me. If only I could do the same to my master. I hate humans. Everything is gilded. To suit master's bloated ego. I cleaned the toilet this morning. It will be fine for a while. I'm gonna save in a separate slot just in case this blows up on me. If not for Landra, my master's wife, I would have taken my life long ago. Despite who I am and what I am, despite knowing her husband is cheating on her, she refuses to treat me, a succubus, differently from other people. If love exists, it is what I feel for her. She isn't inside. I can't blame her. Ah! Found you. Master allowed me to assist you on the cooking today. Guy, it's good to- Hey? What's wrong? Your voice! He sent you after an enemy last night? Ah, yes he did. I've become numb to the sight of blood, though. That isn't exactly comforting. It hurts seeing you suffer. It's just like you to worry about me. Well, he betrays you every night. I married into wealth. I never expected Abelard to be faithful to me. You cer you're certainly taking your time. To commit adultery with your master's wife. You suck you by our fell creatures indeed. You're a captain, dear. This deflection is unbecoming of you. This is your doing, isn't it? I should never have summoned you. Oh shit! What do you see? Everything. How are you able to see this, Exceleste? I feared as much. In the end, the rage I felt upon seeing Abelard kill her pushed me enough to break her pact. 
Taking his life was the most liberating feeling I ever experienced, but it didn't bring Landra back. It never does. Obtain Maid's Frill. Do I really want to give that to her? Tranquil Mind to recover mana. Wait a minute, but... This is a skill that most mages have by default. Oh, so that's num page number 24. I wondering why some of these were missing. Hmm, a small stat boost. The days of wearing this are in the past, but holding it reminds you of better times. A calmer state of mind. Where'd all my... Wow, she unequipped everything during that flashback, except for the torturous frill of flog. Cool. Okay, now her stats are back up to normal. Oh, I see. Un provides mana regeneration to the entire party while re greatly rejuvenating your own. Hey, that might actually be pretty good. But what's the catch? It doesn't seem to have a cost. Maybe it's once per battle. So I'm glad I came here. I really did not expect that little cutscene. Sadly, I already compressed video number 12, so this will have to be in video 13. Alright, strategically it would be better to bring the Harpy, but I want to bring all four of the main characters because there might be some optional scenes with them. And I don't want to miss those. I'm willing to, t uh, to take longer fighting some of these battles if it means to, uh, 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 getting some of those scenes. Holy shit, that's a lot of birds. They're all evil. Why isn't that one moving? Do I Predatory bird times four. Hmm. Flash of light. Seriously, why were they just standing there? Waiting for me to attack them. Those fools. Flee? What? Okay, that was weird. I thought it would fight back. Thousand Needles. Dual Attack. Normal Attack. And... Let's see. Burning Blade. Run away, huh? I guess I'm a little overleveled here. Even more overleveled now that X-List has gotten that push to level 23. Even more OP. Hmm. Anything else here? Well, looks like I stepped on a bird. That's a weird. That's a weird thing to say. Usually, you don't step on birds. They're usually fast enough to dodge you if you step on them, or if you get near them. Guard, build up your rage. Owie. Thousand needles. Armor breaker, and please. Why is that one hiding the grass so suspiciously? Let's see if I can back attack. No, really? Seriously? Seems like a perfect opportunity for a back attack. 
so inconsistent how these the ambush mechanic works sometimes. Tranquil Mind. What's the limit to using Tranquil Mind? There has to be some kind of limitation, otherwise it would just be too broken. Huh. Ogre, Orgo River Trail. That's a lot of... Princess! Our eminence awaits you! Please don't delay us further! Princess! Ah! Of course! My apologies! Another person that joined Exless Harem? Hmm... I hope I didn't miss the optional Hawk Zombie boss. Apparently, there's uh, Hawk Zombie was able to fight himself in his stream, but it could have been removed. It might have been a, a one-time thing that was only intended for his stream. What was that about? I don't know. But seeing that the Princess of Marlon here, this thinks of another forced political marriage. Let me guess: with Marion and the Princess. Um. We're saving a separate slot just in case. This is possible because I killed the hawks too fast, they were unable to spawn hawk zombie? I don't know. Anyways, tents usually contain something good, right? With all the pipes going everywhere, you figured even the tents had plumbing. Draw some of lids. Bread. Never enter these buildings. Cheap porcelain. A bucket of water. It smells bad. Hmm. A, a bridge? I think I've seen that in a screenshot before. I better save before going across. Could be something bad. Battle on the big bridge. Gaia? I was correct to bring you along. Sorry. I won't allow this. Huh? Hey, don't run up about the rest of the party. Valkyrie, this is where your journey ends. Your acts of treachery against our kingdom shall be punished by death. Out of the way, my way, human. I'll, t I'll tell your soul along her anal passage. You might want to listen to her. She seems quite murdery right now. Oh, yes. Yes, I will die. Oh, shit, is that dynamite? But so will you. Quickly, someone slice it just like in Full Metal Alchemist. For the Cardinal! Hail to the King! King? Fancies himself a king now? What lunacy? <coughs> um. Did I get separated from my party again? Ah ha ha. I should have seen that coming. How absurdly blind could I be? Where they know it or not, these crazed cultists are all in Marion's pocket. They dares call me the monster. If, in that case, isn't he directly responsible for the deaths of a lot of his own own soldiers? I'm pretty sure some of them got killed by the cultists. And he's also responsible for Exla's mo uh, mother's death too. Wake up, Gaia! Please wake up. Hang in there. Where's the R2? We, you can't die. Oh shoot, do I have to summon my other minions? My head. You're okay. Get up. We still have a long way ahead of us. Separate slot time. Damn that man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go summon some uh, some allies. Oh, um, not good. I can't do the... Uh, I can do Abbas walking, I guess, but I wouldn't be able to return back to this area easily. Oh, good, you two are here too. Life Bloom. So, hope, I was thinking we might have a boss spell before he blows himself up, but I guess not. These guys know they can't take uh, me on at full power. They couldn't possibly win a fair fight, so they have to 
use dirty tricks like that. Anti-toxic salve. Raw iron. No, I should probably talk to my party members before I go too far. Otherwise, maybe Hawk Zombie will end up killing me when there's only two of me. Flame! I hit over a spike. Are you okay? I'm fine, but quite, quite annoyed indeed. His acts can no longer be forgiven. I don't like saying this, but he has to die. Good to see you survived the fall. Oi, oi, you seriously believe I died from that? Marion is one gross piece of crap, isn't he? Just one more reason to want him dead. Okay, party's back together. Let's just keep moving along. Hey, Relaine and Melina recovered their hit points and MP, but we didn't. Huh. Alright, time to s a cave. Huh. I might have to burn some oil. Lancia Caverns. Snake. Why can't I ambush you? Adder. These are super snakes. These are uh, uh, these are the cream of the crop among the snakes. Uh, shattering cleave. I have to guard if I want to use that one. Hey yeah. None of them ran away. These are brave snakes. Are that were were or they're at the right level. Now, of course you bloodlust after we attack. Of course. At least they don't resist light. Let's use heaven's light. That's the good thing about the uh, the your ta uh, tableau ambush. It fills up my rage really quickly and allows me to use all this other stuff. Can't steal magic. Tranquil mind. I really want to know what the drawbacks are. Or is it does it have a cooldown or something? That would make the most sense. Fury, shattering cleave. Should uh. probably gonna respawn if they aren't running away. Whoa. Oh hey. Vile poison and chema. And the someone went out of their way to set this up here. That's suspicious. Could be someone hiding out in this cave other than us. Perhaps there's a trap. Oh, we can we gotta keep an eye out for any climbable walls. Hey, there's a snake near that mushroom. Oh, well, might as well be furrow. Maybe there's a new enemy. Yes, there are cave bats. They're like bats, but they don't they uh, won't run away until I'm like level twenty something, probably. Dark Inspiration... Flash of Light... Guard... Oh, th now they're fleeing! Seriously, I'll never get Tranquil Mind to work, will I? Okay, moving along, I better grab some more mana. Good thing I have all these veggies. Cardinal doesn't know what he's missing. And Olimark might have had a point about eating the veggies raw. Take this back. Uh, that's a lot of bats. They're probably, most of them will probably run away, but maybe I'll be able to s uh, kill a few of them. Hmm, mushroom... Last I checked, snakes didn't know how to make fire. 
There has to be a... Maybe there's an occultist in this cave. No matter... They will not survive. Whoa, snake. Why can't they... Seriously, what happened to the ambush mechanics? Did the game just decide, Oh, you no longer need that. You're too OP. You know, now that Celeste they, or X Celeste is a half angel again, I really don't need to change her lane back to her priestess form, except for really tough fights. Oh, uh, that's ominous. Now that's a welcome sight. We'll have to forge ahead regardless. Why would this portal even be here? Probably the developer feeling slightly merciful for once. Heh. <laughs> So, what's on this map, anyways? How do we end up all the way over here? Holy crap. Look at this. Look at the amount of room we skipped. Huh. I should probably take a quick heal break before continuing on. <sighs> Took a lot of work, but I finally got Hawk Zombie to show up. I have to repeatedly fight the birds until I get lucky enough for him to show up, I guess. Or maybe I just have to kill all the ones on the map? I'm not sure what the conditions are. It doesn't matter how many birds are left on the battlefield either, it's just a really obscure condition. I'm gonna guess just keep killing all the birds until there's only one left. Alright Pete, what the hell is this? It looks like some kind of hawk zombie. Alright, time to show him what I'm made of. First up, Hawk Zombie likes to spam attack a lot, so I'm guessing Aegis Barrier will be a good choice. Yeah, seriously, he is one of the biggest attack spammers among all the RPG Maker Let's Players. He can't strategize when he wants to, though. Okay, Spark. No, wait, if he's a bird, maybe he's weak to wind. Radiant Shield on everyone. Let's try out Abyssal Empowerment. That did not do the damage I was hoping for. Ow, he bled me! Ah, curse you! Hmm. Thousand needles. Pressure on Exilest. Panacea to cure bleed. I can re I can turn her back to her normal state too. But for now let's just go glass cannon mode. Fury Cutter. He's a zombie, so he should be weak to that, right? He has pretty good evasion too. Ow. Oh come on, he bled Milena too. Gah, but he also, you're blinded! How can you even hit me that easily, Hawk Zombie? Perhaps his attack spamming strategy has some merit after all. Hmm. Dark Inspiration, I forgot to cast that. Anasia. Fury Keter is not an option. Burning Blade! Oh, I set him on fire! He tries to find his healing spell! He could not find his healing spell! His inability to do so leaves everyone confused! Ow! This is bad! Holy shit, he might actually win! Fortunately, I may have to break out this Mana Berry Juice. It should be fine since I have so much Flower Nectar. I can always remake it. <laughs> Anyone not confused? Uh, This is really bad. I can't believe I'm gonna lose a Hawk Zombie like this.
Don't, don't teach me to make fun of him for losing the Fortius. Yeah. Okay, I have Life Bloom. That should be enough to heal you. Ah! Why is Sandblast so freaking OP? Inspiration. You're blinded right now, so. Hmm. Blaze? Oh boy. Even with two healers, Hawk Zombie is kicking my butt. Yep. Okay, wait, let me get my turns in order. So, heal you. Life Bloom, her. Panacea, everyone. Ooh, that was close. Ow. Okay, we're back. Get, we can do this. Thousand needles. Put an herb on you. Flash of light and see, see if we can blind you. And then... Hmm. Armor break. An excellent hit. Can't find this healing spell. Oh, not again. I may not want to buff everyone for this. Hawk suddenly realizes he hasn't saved in a while. Please. Oh, I barely won that one. Ugh! I can't believe Hawk Zombie kicked my ass so early. Ugh! Ugh! But still, it was... Uh, I barely pulled through. Even with his con mass confusion attack. Ugh! Okay, now would be a good time to go to town and heal up. Or actually back to uh, back to the tower or mansion. Alright, I'm back. Uh, to this area. Yeah, that was a pretty uh, awkward b uh, battle if you think about it since Relayne was in it and Hawk Zombie kind of sacrificed her during at the slime portion. What the? A bandit? Well, that's also a mystery. Bandits. Can I get them on my side too? That'd be pretty crazy. Also, I discovered this. If you get if you get the map death bug uh, and, and you're trapped inside one of the be bedrooms in the mansion, you can actually sleep in the bed to restart the mapped up script. Yeah, that could be a good trick to know. But what exactly causes the map def thing to turn on? If we could figure that out, it might be possible to overcome this bug once and for all. Something to simulate the effects of sleeping in a bed but without actually recovering hit points. I think maybe that could be the key to making it work. Maybe a way to re-teleport to the same spot in the map. Maybe that would force the map to work. I don't know.
So how strong are these bandits? Oh wow, they have axes. That might make them a bit tougher. Hopefully blinding them will help. The missile empowerment turned off after the battle, huh? Probably a good thing. Hmm. Uh, they're fleeing. Seriously, why does Dark Inspiration have such a low priority? I feel like enemy accuracy is really high on hard mode. Yeah, I gotta watch out for that. Fury. Dozen Needles. Spark. Regen. Guard. Youch! Turn to Swiss cheese. And some life bloom to replace. Mushroom? Yeah, life bloom to replace what I lost in that battle. The battle against Hawk. Mother, mother! Burby's careful not to save under a wall. What the? What was that? Why the heck did they... The exclamation mark show up. God, I wish I could ambush you. Uh, he's just said done. I don't think stealth mechanics work against enemies who are accustomed to the dark anyways. Did that work? No. Of course not. Why would it? Wait, well, splash of light. Of course the majority are going to flee. At least I stunned one. Oh crap! He has that one move that the that one bandit guy was using against me. The AOE move. Okay, bitch slap the ranger because he's the most dangerous right now. Use TP based Oh come on, really? Poison? Okay, purify him and use a remedy. Looks like they don't respawn, huh? I remember the ones. Uh, uh, the, uh, I remember the guards in the. Uh, in what was it called? Arrowar would actually respawn. How do you not see me? What the hell? It doesn't matter. I can't ambush you, anyways. Hey, check that out! I got Brigandine to drop! Bandit case? The chest contained a smaller chest? And a list of addresses. The original owners probably miss these. This must have been stolen from that village I saw from atop the bridge. You saw a village from the bridge? I hope we can get to it soon, because it doesn't sound like we've been there before. Overused and under-maintained. Hmm. Bandit Cache. Where is it? Here. I should not try to use it up, though. I should sit- Otherwise, I'd probably screw up a side quest. Instead, I should just equip this Brigandine onto someone who could use it. It won't sacrifice your speed too much. And you could use some extra defense. They're kind of frail. There, saved a little bit of money by not buying too much armor. So 
some more raw iron, so I, because I might need to do one more army battle. Okay, I see a chest there. Wait, just in case I grab everything in that cell. Yes, I did. Ah, no backstab. Uh, I ended up getting a map death bug again. I found our solution, by the way. If you're in a room and you can't seem to get the map death bug to cancel out even if you try to use another save file to reactivate the script, there's a solution. You can just use that other save... Make sure you get to this same room through a different source. As long as this, it seems that the map death thing is maybe specific to certain rooms. So you have to get to the exact same room in order to make it work again. So yeah, for example, if I was trapped here, which I was before, Load in our save, try to get back to this location through normal means, and then you'll be able to reload your other save to get out of the wall. Yeah. It's crazy that I even have to come up with these tricks. But, that's what's gonna have to happen until we get a decent patch. More bandits. Hmm, a fork in the road. Weird. Where should I go first? Oh, so did I purify that bandit back there? Yeah, now I did. Okay, good. Hmm, the town was supposed to be that way, but what's over here? That way would just lead back to that broken bridge. Uh, but there might be a, a treasure that we missed. Don't be like that. Think of the treasure. Maybe more bands we could purify. Ah, raw iron. Okay, I'm gonna have to purify that bandit real quick. Wait, make sure I save it in a proper location so I don't get screwed over by the map death bug. And another one purified. Honestly, I think the next best solution to the map death bug is to just take out completely, redesign all maps so that you can get anywhere without having to rely on map death. That would be the be that would probably be the best solution at this point. Yeah, that would that would have to you'd have to make some air, some of the passages a little wider and maybe make some of the houses smaller, but it might be worth it if it prevents players from screwing themselves over, if they, especially if they didn't make multiple save slots. Another bird. Hey, is it possible to encounter Hawk Zombie twice? Barita. Predatory bird again. I highly doubt I will encounter him twice. That would be stupid. Yeah, they're all running away anyways. Yep. Yeah, I guess not. That would be worrying, because he is actually kind of strong due to his confusion spam. All us here is mushroom or mushrooms, huh? I kind of feel like something might happen once I cross the bridge. Another hawk, which is hopefully not the zombie. Iron. Life Bloom. I hope this doesn't screw me over for the Bird Alliance. Wait, we already have one of those, technically, with the Harpies. Oh, Death Cap. That's ominous. Very ominous. We need to use Blaze on it. It fled. Well, I, I figured it might have instant death attacks, but I guess not. Oh, finally, you managed to cast your your buff before someone used their AoE. Strange, you think that the buff would take priority over a powerful AoE? Hmm. 
save in a location that won't screw me over. See a mushroom. And I see farmland and a windmill. Ambush? No. Ah. I used to be Tabulu, yes. And they all flee. Oh no, two of them stay behind. Let's hope they drop something good. Anti toxic cell. Demon's rampage learned. Seventy. That's gotta be. That's hopefully stronger than your fury cutter, right? Yeah, let's hope so. First, we're not healed more than a hundred MP. It's possible she has some kind of passive buff to her item benefits. It's not easy to own a mill all the way back here, but the further towards the capital you go, the harder it becomes to grow crops. Are you the owner of this? No, he, he is not the owner. He's just some bum. Okay, hopefully he does not mind me taking his crops. I guess not. Hidden wheat. At least the bandits mostly leave me alone. But when these days the birds will get me. Oh, a beach again. Weird. Let's see, where's my key? Legion Cleaver? Is that any good? No, he's not playing any light types right now, so maybe I'll switch back to Excalibur for you. Whoa, this is pretty powerful. I just need to figure out a way to upgrade Excalibur. How close am I to the next town? I'm not gonna bother fighting that bird. No point, I already killed Hawk Zombie. Or, well, he ran away from me and then self-destructed for some reason. I don't know why, he had 14,000 hit points left. He could have easily taken me. Oh, iron! Okay, save in a good spot and let's go. Grunt's Village. I hope they don't try to come at me with pitchforks. See the soldiers there. I must ambush them. Sneaking past them seems like it's going to be impossible. Okay, let's just kill them all. Welcome to Grunfeld. Enjoy your stay. Wait, really? They don't recognize me as an enemy? Huh. We're just keeping the peace in the village. See, since it seems you're not trying to disturb it, we'll leave you be. Don't go and prove me wrong. Huh, as long as we don't cause a ruckus, they'll leave me alone. Our village doesn't have an end, but the monastery offers beds to those in need. Monastery? But that means my demon friends might not be able to enter it. Hey, come back here. We used to cultivate our own food. Nowadays, it just isn't worth it. I guess the pollution is screwing over the crops and stuff. So, so one thing I want to look up. But first, let me save, just in case it blows me up somehow. Uh, seriously, anything could be a, a bogey here. Who took what sin? Greg took greed and sloth. Greed, could that 
does I wonder, does that mean Alfredus is actually Greg? Or at least maybe killed Greg and took his greed? He doesn't seem to have sloth though. If he did have sloth, he wouldn't I'm not sure he would have the motivation to actually do all this shit. And again, some of these deadly sins can be complicated, so it's possible that there's a way to interpret greed and sloth in a way that fits Alfredus Marion. Where'd she go? Where'd a human lady go? Oh, it's at night? Cameron Sickle. Sounds communistic? I don't know. Anyways, let's see if there's any good equipment here. Oh no, I just realized. I can't save inside this building. It's too dangerous. I can only save where, I can, where I'm outside. It's the safest way. Never save inside of a small building that you're not sure you can exit. Heading toward Osberg, aren't we? Might want to stock up on some gear. I already have this, fortunately. Flesh Ripper. Whoa, that's pretty powerful. This is also pretty powerful. But I'm too poor for it. I just hope I can get a teleport here. Small, small metal utensils, none of which should be of any use. Hey, no, look but don't touch! No free samples? Adventurous these days! Unfinished and unsharpened, clearly a show model. Can't take that! What are you doing? You can't take that. Hm. Empty. Okay. I could buy a whip for Gaia, but I'm not sure I want to. The torturer's flog is so much cheaper here, isn't it? Or I have an extra brigandine. So, no need for- Maybe I could sell one and to raise money for other items. Flesh Ripper. Is there, is there a pawn shop around here? Can we save outside? Huh? Even to visit Grunfeld or just passing through? Regardless, be careful out there. The bands haven't left these people alone in weeks. As if the birds weren't enough. Here's the stolen goods. What is... Wait, these are the items we, that were plundered from my people. I thought you might want them back. That is... Thank you. I will see to it that these are returned to the rightful owners. My people will know of your deeds. And take these as my own way of saying thanks. In coupon times 50? Are you serious? What are we going to do with all of those? And it's kind of pointless because we can just use the beds and the hideouts anyway. But I'll take that Kima. Thank you, Osberg. Please be careful. The Cardinal has made it no secret he wants you dead. You know who I am? Huh. Mayor's house. I am scared of, of going into any location. Ugh. Seriously, this map death bug has me scared. I think Drunken Paladin had a similar bug, but not quite as dire as this. Mostly because you, there was no way to save under a wall anyways. Huh? Relaine? Ah, oh, sorry. I just felt quite the strange sensation coming from this direction. Well, I saved, so I might as well. Well, if your feelings tell you to go that way, I'll come with you. You've never led me astray before. Was that a sarcasm? Maybe a little. Come, let's investigate. Hmm. I'm suspicious. Let's go. The nun? What the hell? 
The wheat shrivels and you just pick it up? Wait, what? So that monastery, there must be some mystery to it. Must have... Oh, I can pass through this, but I can't pass through a wall. Uh, 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 I pass through the top of a wall. Yeah. Hmm. Here it goes. Monastery. Wait a minute. Can you even enter this place if you're in demon mode? That feeling got stronger again. You think it's something in here? It seems likely. My allies are still able to go in here. My demonic ones, that is. Welcome to our monastery. I fear our conventional is under renovation. But if you search for salvation or even just a bed for the night, we are here. Suspicious. The hell? Sermons have been few and far between lately. It's almost as if people gave up on the gods. If you need a place to stay, though, see the sister at the desk. Held Monastery always has a room to spare. Held Monastery? What kind of name is that? We need to get a room first. Okay. Our church is partially funded through our service as a village inn. Does 170 sound fair? Use coupon. Ah, coupon will do just as well. I pray you'll have a good night's sleep. Yeah, I have a million coupons now. Hey, who are you? The sisters take good care of us, but I still miss my mama. I still feel like there's something suspicious about this place, even if it just accepts coupons and is technically an inn. Mana infusion? Biblical scripts. Church's bezel is clean soft. I'm, I'm sure I have to rest here if I want to trigger an event. Ah, so groggy. Hey, where's my healer? Hey? Eh? Relaine? Where art thou? Where is. Are you? Deja vu. I'm sorry. What? Do you believe in reincarnation? It's a popular theory. Why do you ask? Last night I had visions. Stronger than a mere dream. Quite so. I saw myself. A queen of a country. A malevolent and cruel ruler. You? I never would have thunk it. This country. This place. They are also familiar to me. Lulaine. It was just a dream. What if it wasn't? What if I really was? What if I was really a despicable monster in a past life? This is kind of came out of nowhere. Excelest. Why would that matter? Even if it were true. Because. Shut. Up. Do I get to see if I max her affection affection beforehand, or maybe this will push it to the top? Whatever you may have done in the past, I don't care. This is not who you are. Excellent. All I know is that the you who has diligently treated my wounds every step of the way. Whether you agreed to what I did or not. I would never hate you for what someone else who shared your name might have done some 200 years ago. Are you done running away from me? Yes. I'm sorry. Elena was right. You really are an idiot. Hey! Shh, let's go back inside. I'm still tired. Ah, yes, I'm still sleepy myself. Quite so. Okay. I can't talk to her if she wants to go back inside.
Seriously, why did he give us so many coupons? That's crazy. There's, it's not like there's gonna be 50 ints in the game. I'm sure, it saves me a trip back to. It saves me a trip back to the bases, but. Hmm. This. Sugar and spice and everything nice. Life bloom. I feel like I'm gonna need them all. Save before entering a building that could potentially lock me in due to map death. Fried herbs. Fried. They most likely lost any medicinal value. It's, look a tad hungry. Seeing as you helped our village out so much, I don't mind you taking some supplies along. Please, help yourselves. Maybe you can solve our food shortage. Food supplies times two. Animal feed. Pot related puns. Dried exotic nuts. Probably a little too exotic. Welcome to Sugar and Spice. How can I help you? How's business? This sounds a little on the small side. How do you stay in business? You think that would be an issue, right? Luckily, we get plenty of people wanting to travel back and forth between Grunwald and Ostberg by foot. That could be an issue now. Because someone took out the bridge. The real problem is that fresh produce keeps getting, it keeps becoming harder to come by. Buy general goods. Hmm. I already have this recipe. Why does this recipe keep getting sold all the time? Maybe it's because you have a lot of opportunities to miss it. I have 18 keys. Let's just buy one just for good luck. Water and milk. We can use some more water and more bottles in case I need to make more scorpion ladies. Get some milk as well. Yeah, I better make some more scorpions later. Also, I didn't actually talk to the smith yet. Ask him for his lore. Grenfeld. What did the name... Where, where, did, where did that name come from? Our town has always shared a name with Grunwald. Being its smaller sister town. This was the case even before its name was changed after the revolution. It's named after the green fields it stood upon, but it's slowly becoming brown. The green fields are starting to turn slightly brown, though. Isn't that the unfortunate truth? At this rate, I don't know how long until we end up in an irreversible famine. And I can only blame the machines. The Industrial Revolution is kind of screwing this town over, huh? Heading to Osberg, please be careful. Okay. Sugar and spice. Oh. Yes, the teleport. Mind. You don't mind if I have this teleport, right? Be careful out there. The Cardinal has a bounty on your head. But we don't care because he's an asshole. Wait, why is that death fail there? Did map depth somehow fail to trigger? I don't, I don't understand. No, it, it did work here. Hmm. Huh. Alright, I'm on a quest to find the last two books I missed. And take a look, there's a there's something back here in the Unicorn's Rest in, uh, the, in the first town in Edel Wall. Books full of collected musical compositions. What is this? Daughter of Evil? That's a peculiar title for a song. This is one of the missing books. Wait, you can read that? Hey, What does it say for you? I, I identified the symbols as saying Aku no Musume, but I had no idea what it meant. That's right, demonic language is actually Japanese. 
Sounds like demonic, all right. I thought so. I have a sister in Erowar Village who might be able to read it. If you ever come across her, tell her that her little, her brother Len said hi. So you're Len? <coughs> Guess I can't tell you to leave. Can I? Poor Len. Heh. <laughs> can't deal- uh, can't, can't do anything about us going behind the counter. Seriously, that is a pretty sneaky passage. The coloring is just slightly off on that wall. Can't you see it? Anyways, let's take a look at this Daughter of Evil book. First few pages are just music before eventually revealing text. Once upon a time in this very place, there was an evil kingdom which no person dared to face. And the ruler at its apex was a girl so mean, a tiny little princess of only age 14. Luxurious furnishings are spread across her place, a loyal, tireless servant with quite a similar face. A horse named Josephine with brilliant white fur, everything within this kingdom just belonged to her. Were they low on money? Well, that was no awful thing. Just squeeze it from the peasants which she dangled by a string. So, uh, whoever opposed her would soon feel her hate, punish them, and purge them off this realm as was their fate. Come, bow for me. Evil flowers bloom beautifully in a vast array of coloration. All pathetic weeds rotting at my feet, they will soon turn to compost and wither for me. The tyrant princess held love for a man. The prince of blue across the ocean wasn't much for her fan. Her long... He long had his eyes set on a different girl, a green-haired beauty whose innocent eyes shone like a pearl. The old princess knew this and was filled with rage, called upon her servant from within her golden cage, and told in a painful voice that could barely be heard, make sure that green country is painfully stirred. Houses of people were raised to the ground. Dozens of voices could no longer make a sound. The endless rows of people who left in such pain, and so much pain, got no pity from the princess who had slain. Oh, it's tea time! Why does this sound like Fresh Prince of Bel Air or something? Evil flowers steadily bloom in a vast array of bloody doom. Even though the flower was so pretty and had refined, and refined, her many thorns had driven her garden to decline. To defeat this cruel princess was, of course, no simple task, but the broken people could no longer wear their masks. Like a pack of cornered hounds, they prepared to fight. Led by a red swordswoman, they advanced upon this blight. All the anger that had built up over the years finally consumed them and suppressed all their fears. But the army barred from after the Green War, their attacks against them were easily barred. Once they were defeated, the countrymen stormed the court. The servants had already fled, they knew their time was short. The little woman princess didn't pose much of a fight, and she was finally captured in the night. Evil flowers slowly bloom in a vast array of finest doom. Now the paradise she made had crumbled around herself. It was time to put this broken doll onto its wooden shelf. Once upon a time in this very place there was an evil kingdom which no person dared f to face. And the ruler at its apex was a girl so mean, a tiny little princess of only age 14. Her execution was to be three at 3 o'clock when the church bells resounded their last talk. The girl who was once considered royalty was left to sit in prison without any loyalty. The time of retribution eventually came, the church bells to her son did kind of lame. With her gaze averted from the faces of the crowd, she set up her face in a shroud Oh, it's tea time! Evil flowers wavered soon, in a vast array of colorful doom. Now the people speak of her without a second thought. The daughter of evil had rode the reap what she sowed. Hmm. I should probably file that away into the shelf, or no. Maybe I should bring it to. Uh, 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 to. Uh, the, uh, the Vocaloid sisters first. I really hope this doesn't. Uh, uh, I was really hoping the books would be something about Marion explaining more about his past and motives, explaining why he wants so uh, all his technological progress at the cost of the environment and all that. I think he would at least try to come up with some kind of countermeasure to all this. Wait, right, we have five chairs. Why D? Huh? Hmm. Weird. Why aren't they saying anything? Maybe I need to be in the daytime.
Oh, come on. Hmm, so weird. But there would be something for sure. Hmm. Added daughter of evil. Yeah, there's one last one, but where could it be? Hold on. Maybe if I present it to her. Len told you to bring this to me? This is... It's a song about the green hunting. More specifically, the princess who ordered it. I am related to her. Although with a few generations in between. But... That song as well as all of history books say she died that day. But my existence proves otherwise. Curry times five. Take these up for your up for on your way. Keep the book. I don't want to think about it. Whoa, I totally throw them out of sync. I mean, we have bones of jealousy. Okay. Hmm, that's weird. Portrait of a young nun. Blue icing full of sadness. Rin the Alpha Gort. That name. Someone do you know? I'm not sure. We share a certain a surname, though. My apologies. I didn't mean to eavesdrop. Young priestess, if that portrait evokes, provokes emotions within you, perhaps staying the night in her old room would help bring you bring some bring you some enlightenment. We did that already, though, didn't we? Stay in that in the in here. That is, I won't force you, but if you wish, it is available to you. Great great grandmother. I did, yeah, I think I did some of these events out of order. That's why I screwed up now. Hey! This time, it, something appeared. You know it's a book with a familiar symbol. I guess I had to get the music uh, the Daughter of Evil first in order to get the diary. Rin's diary. Wait, that is... Why is it in demonic? I can't read this. Well, fortunately... Fortunately, Exiles knows her moon runes, I think. Diary of a nun who once lived in Grunfeld's church. Strangely, is it written entirely in demonic? Why does she know Japanese? E this diary belongs to Rin. Even day 57th of Bloom's sight. It has been weeks since that fateful day. So many restless days, so many sleepless nights. Even though I know I deserve no respite, I decided to keep a diary to regain some clarity. Dear Diary, my name is Rillian Lucifen de Autriche, former princess of the kingdom of Lucifenia, now dethroned and despised by my own people, abandoned by my servants, and I so dearly deserved all of that. Whereas thanks to my selfishness and pride, my ineptitude as a regent, that my kingdom lies in ruin, that those I loved either betrayed me or died. Damn it, Alexiel, it should have been me on that guillotine, not you. I promised you I'd survive, but it's hard, you know, especially since you already broke your end of that promise. Past day 58 of Bloomsight. For the first time in a long while, I slept undisturbed, though even in my sleep I can see his face, hear his voice speak that forsaken line. Oh look, it's tea time, then the fall of the blade. I should not be asking for forgiveness, for salvation, no matter what trivial tasks I may perform at this monastery. But Clarif was right. Writing in this diary brought my mind some ease. Clarif, the only person I would consider a friend since I had to run away. She was the one who nursed me back to health when I collapsed. After fleeing from the rebels, her red eyes intrigued me, and her snow white hair seemed to reflect the purity of her heart. Though I know for sure if she even has a slightest idea of what an unbelievably wicked person I was, she would certainly hate me. Dear Diary, I thought I lost you. It's been exactly two years since I last wrote on you. And I believe I have really grown as a person. In the past years, a friend Clara. Uh, in the past years, friend uh, Clara has officially become a sister of the held sect. And among the other menial tasks she taught me to make a brioche that would have made Alexiel gel envious. I was tilling the soil today to plant onions. I was approached by a woman with bright green hair. Initially, I feared it was a citizen of Alpha Gort who had found my identity. This lady was an angel going by the name Gaia who informed me that the gruesome acts I committed in the past were due to the influence of the Demon of Pride. At first I was skeptical, but she wasted no time in ex exercising her from my body. Huh. So Gaia... Wow. So that, uh, I guess they had to pick up the pull out 
the deadly sins from uh, individual humans. I'll confess my sins tonight, and hopefully God will forgive me. During my confession last night, I was overheard by Clarif. I didn't notice it at first, but she followed me as I made my way to the pier to cast out my final bald message. My message of regret. As I turned around, I saw my friend fire in her eyes as she raised a glimmering knife. And for a moment, I thought that would have been my end. Burn didn't kill me, though. Clarif merely cut my hair a few centimeters above my shoulders. When my heart was pounding at the time, I have to admit I kind of like my hair this way. In return for revealing my secret, Clarif told me one of hers. The girl I had ordered killed in a fit of jealousy was alive, in the form of a sapling. It was surprising at first, but it was hardly the most unbelievable moment in memory. This evening we'll head out to plant her together. I'll protect her with my life, and start making amends for the lives I took. The sapling? Is that the Millennium Tree? Another year went by, hasn't it? I wish I could say I had nothing to report, but rather I have too much to write about. It has been tough keeping up with all my chores, taking care of the orphans, and still managing to sneak out to pretend to Michaela's sapling. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Michaela is the name of that girl, and well, so much happened. One day I had to fight off one of those terrible rotland birds that was pecking at her leaves, shielding her with my body, and while I was bandaging my wounds after chasing it away, she just snuck up on me. I've never seen anyone as beautiful as her. Those vib vibrant eyes and those long green twin tails. I can tell why Kyle chose her over me. Just looking at her makes my heart throb. Clara, Michaela, and me. The three of us make an interesting party indeed. Only time can tell what our future holds. Huh. That is a pretty... Odd story. I think it's based on an actual Vocaloid song if you look it up. Huh. Anything, will anything happen if I stay the night here again? Probably not, but who knows. Huh? Nope, nothing new. Alright, I'm gonna have to splice this into the video later, but... Oh shit. Where, where are you going? Huh? Wait, I need to get that diary. Where is it? Here we go. What's this then? Eh? How'd you get this? Please, take a seat. I'll make us some tea. I need to read this for a moment. Mikune, you might want to see this too. Rinchan, what is this? It's her diary. The queen? I thought you wanted to know nothing about her. So this queen, who is she to you? Rulian Lucifin de Autriche. I finally pronounced her name somewhat better than before. The infamous daughter of evil was my great-great-grandmother. I discovered this a few years ago, and I've been ashamed ever since. But that means your cousins, distantly related cousins. About that, what's your name? Rillian. Rillian de Elfegort. Could it be? Ah? The name of my one of my ancestors was Michaela de Elfegort. Well, that's just great. What? Let's just say the three of us have a lot more in, have more in common than I'm comfortable with. That being great grandparents, so we're family. Beyond being married, yes. This is strange, though. The story makes her seem nice. All I ever read about her is that she was a horrible human being, with no remorse. You know, you think Gaia would be joining in on this conversation too, considering she met Rin in the past. The story may be nothing but a farce. Love? What is it? Let it go. The fact that you're her great-granddaughter has redeemed her in my eyes. She can't be that bad. Jeez. You. Really help me out. 
You have no idea how much this has been weighing me down. Millennium Tree Seed. It's a valuable family heirloom, but it will likely serve you better than me. Sadly, I did. This is. I already beat the final boss, so I won't be able to use this in the next video. Please take good care of it. I see. Guards against silence and blinding. Hmm. It doesn't have as big a stat boost as the engagement ring overall, but it could still be pretty useful. Well, I beat the final boss without it, so it can't be that great. Just mostly great. Plus, the final boss... <laughs> his main gimmick is that he can stun you with his physical attack, so this does not really inspire much confidence. If it was an anti-stun move, then I would have been... Oh, I should have got that! Curses! Can I ask one more question? Of course. We're apparently family, after all. How come you understand demonic? And I can't. That's a good question. Miku couldn't read it either. Maybe it's only inherited from mother to daughter. I see. I guess that's as much of an explanation as I could hope for. I'm sorry, I'm a singer, not a scientist. Next to you, I can finally rest easy. I appreciate your help greatly. So we're cousins. Don't tell Rin, but something about that excites me. My winner should talk to Len. Guess I can't tell you to leave, can I? Okay, but he can't. Len cannot read the script, so. Demonic script, or Japanese, for some reason, despite clearly having a Japanese name. A diary, but it's in demonic. My sister seems to know how to read this. Uh, that's all he's gonna say. Oh well. Well, I guess that's the end of this side quest. Unless I want to go back to the last town and see if anything will change when I talk to the nuns about it. One last thing. I do not believe that you can get the apocalypse skill or pretty much any of these soul type spells, even if you try to buy them. If that's if you're a half angel, that's because your I guess your heart is too pure to channel your hatred into a devastating fire attack. It's a shame because this skill is actually really powerful. It confuses the enemies and deals pretty good damage to them, AOE damage even. So yeah, I guess. I guess the payoff for uh, uh, for that mode uh, for, for evil for going evil or neutral is actually better in the long run since you get more powerful offense. Even if uh, half angel gives you more powerful healing abilities and defensive abilities, sometimes the best defense is a good offense, right? Yeah, seriously, it doesn't even count as a part of my possessions uh, uh, once I go into this menu again. It's lost forever, completely wasted. So yeah, if you're on the good route, you're better off just spending your soul essence on your army. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of Corruption with Letitia, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.